Okay, so take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so this tells us to do what? To find the value of the trig ratio for the graph below. So this is our trig ratio, the secant of theta. We're trying to find the secant of theta. I'm going to highlight that. Okay. And I like this problem because it reminds us that it doesn't really matter if you spin around the axis this way or in a more standard way this way. We end up at the same terminal line with the same terminal point, right? So that's, that's a big idea. And the way we spin around the axis will be irrelevant because essentially we're ending up at the same terminal line. So this is theta. And here, if we zoom in a little bit, I can also say that there's a reference angle here theta hat that gets us to the same terminal side and then we can use the same terminal point and now we've got this triangle here that we're working with and we want to find the secant of the reference angle or theta doesn't matter that we get the same point and we're told that the point has an x value of negative 2 so I want to say this is negative 2 and a y value of 2 radical 3 which is this point right here 2 radical 3. So what's missing is our hypotenuse of this triangle and a negative 2 squared, use the Pythagorean theorem, plus 2 root 3 squared equals r squared and negative 2 squared is 4. This we square both factors, so that's 4 times 3 and that equals r squared. 12 plus 4 is 16, that's r squared, so r is 4. It's always going to be the positive root. All right. We're trying to find the secant. Why? Why does that matter? Well, secant is, if you remember, secant of theta is the reciprocal of the cosine of theta. And let's find that first. The cosine of theta is adjacent, right, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine is negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. So therefore, the secant is the reciprocal of that. It's 1 over that. It's negative 2. And that's our answer. All right, I hope that helped.